Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Natasha and today I'm going to be talking a little bit more about my Amazon journey and specifically how to stay motivated if you are on your Amazon journey. So I've been on this journey for a few years. It started and then it stopped and then it picked back up again and I went all in. So I wanna talk about how I've stayed motivated through this second part of my journey because I did hit a couple obstacles the first time I tried it out and I want to talk about what I did differently the second time to stay motivated and keep going because it is a marathon, it is not a race and it's not as fast and easy as some people might make it seem. It does take work and diligence so I want to get into that um, and help you guys stay motivated on yours. But before I begin, I would love and really appreciate it if you guys would give this video a big thumbs up, hit subscribe, and hit the bell if you haven't already. I'm going to be sharing more videos like this, and this is actually the first part to a two-part video. Last time on my first Amazon video, I shared um, some information for using Helium 10 and how I do my research with Helium 10 using Cerebro. If you haven't watched that video, I suggest you start there because I talk about my Amazon journey and how I started and all of that, so it has a lot of good information. In this video, I'm going to be talking about what I just said and then I'll be sharing how I do product research using Helium 10 in a second part. I was going to include both topics in this video and just have it as two parts. But I did ask um, you guys on my Instagram, if you follow me on Instagram, what you would prefer. And majority of you said that you would like two separate videos. And if you're not connected with me on Instagram, I highly suggest you go follow me there. Um, I'm a lot more available over there and I post every single day on my stories showing what I'm up to and how I'm living my life and also about Amazon. So I would love to connect with you all over there as well. And I'm also very present on TikTok recently. Um, I've really been enjoying the community I'm building over there and sharing things really quickly um, about motivation, healthy habits, um, travel. I will be traveling again very soon, so I'm sharing a lot of content about how I'm preparing for that and how I travel for free. So yeah, go connect with me on those two things. Um, subscribe down below so you can catch my second part to this video using Helium 10 and I also have some special links and codes in the down bar for Helium 10 if you are going to be purchasing it soon this way you can get a good discount from them and I think that's about it so I'm going to go ahead and start with my five ways to stay motivated on your Amazon journey. going to work my way back from my fifth tip to my first tip so make sure you watch until the end of the video to find out what the best way is to stay motivated on your journey so my fifth tip for staying motivated on your journey is to take a course so when I started my journey around two or three years ago I found Amazon FBA through Tatiana James and Stefan James they are both here on YouTube and they create amazing content on Amazon, personal development, investing, and just living um, your life to the fullest and living in a very authentic and free way. Tatiana is a huge inspiration of mine, especially here on Amazon. So I was binging her videos, I was researching um, different things about Amazon, and I felt like I was going down an abyss. I was getting so lost, there was so much content and videos and I was going on a lot of tangents and not really able to gather all the information in a good concise way that was really digestible and applicable to my journey. So what happened was I got super overwhelmed and I ended up giving up really early. I always had Amazon and the thought of selling online in the back of my head, but I didn't know how to really gather all the information and put it to work. One of my good friends who's an absolute genius, he, and he's actually younger than me, but he told me this before. He said, there are people who read books, 
there are people who, or there are people who read books and they read the information and they immediately forget it. There are people who read books and then they remember the information and they think about it, but that's it. And there are people who read books and take this information and apply it to their lives. So I felt like I was watching a lot of YouTube videos, so reading the book per se, and I had this information, but I wasn't applying it. I think taking a course is a really great way to gather all this information. It's a lot less time consuming because everything is laid out chronologically and there are notes and you can take notes while you're taking a course and there are so many courses on Amazon FBA I suggest you really research which one is best for you I know there's the amazing selling machine which Tatiana talks about and there are a lot of other ones that are quite expensive they really range in price so I took a very cheap course um, on Udemy and my mentor actually shared this course with me he told me to take this course and then come back to him and let me know what I thought about continuing so I did so and I think that was the best thing that I could have done especially at the beginning because there is so much information and it can be really overwhelming so start there and then decide whether you want to continue whether you think this is for you and while you're taking the course make sure you're doing it diligently make sure you're doing it every single day at least for an hour a day you're taking notes you're really paying attention and then you can supplement the course with YouTube videos so whatever you have questions on along the way maybe search that question in YouTube and I am 100% sure there is a YouTube video on that topic or similar and you can go in there watch those videos to supplement it take notes of course if you have more questions comment on YouTube videos because these people who are making the YouTube videos have probably gone through that problem or might have the answer or other people in the comments might have the answer you can start dialogues so if you have questions about anything ask them down below in the comment section of this video I'll try to answer them if I can't answer it you never know someone else who's going through the comments might be able to and they may be able to help you so that is my fifth tip to take a course. So my fourth tip would be to choose a product in an area that you are interested in or you could see yourself working in. So this is really important to me because I have specific interests. I mean, I have a lot of interests, but I think it's a lot more helpful to me if I choose a product that I have an intrinsic motivation to sell or to produce or make better. Because if you're working in an area that you really do not like, that doesn't interest you or spark a fire in you, you're gonna lose interest quickly. And with Amazon, this is a marathon, like I said, not a race. So you're gonna have to be doing a lot of research on this product. You're going to have to be looking at this product deeply. If you um, already use something in this area where the product pertains to in your daily life, maybe you'll be able to notice ways that you can make it better or ways that you can market it or whatever it is more easily than if you're using or trying to sell a product that you have no tie to. So you, this may not always be possible and it depends on what kind of way you're attacking Amazon because there are so many different ways you can go into Amazon. But in this way, for me uh, personally, I like to have different parts of my life kind of come together in unison. So that's just a tip from me to you is to choose a product or an area to sell in that you have knowledge in or that interests you. My third tip would be to create a timeline. So take your course, create a timeline on when you want to be done with the course have a deadline set and kind of map out much of the course you're going to do every day or what days you're going to be working on it and really set aside the time to be working on Amazon because this is something that I personally experienced was that I was working full time. I recently left my job but when I was working full time I was also obviously doing YouTube and I do a few other things. I'm also a blogger and I have a lot of different projects happening so there were days when I would just 
get too busy or overwhelmed and put Amazon aside and then sometimes it could snowball where I would put it aside for one day and then it became a habit and I kind of just let it go for two days, three days and you do not want to do that because it's so easy to let time pass and pick up Amazon a week later or two weeks later and realize, damn, I should have gotten so much more work done in this period of time than I did. And it does take time to do Amazon because once you find a manufacturer or you start talking to manufacturers, you're going to realize that it's quite time consuming and it's not as fast of a process as you would hope because when you order samples, it takes quite some time for the samples to arrive and then if you're going to place your first shipment, it's going to take quite some time for that shipment to arrive because you're probably going to be ordering it by sea, not by plane. So that takes a long time for them to produce your product and then inspect it, ship it, Amazon to process it, all of that. It's not a super quick process. So it's best that when you have the time in your hands or the balls in your court, which is when you're doing the course, when you're doing the research, all this stuff that you're working diligently and every single day, because when the ball is in the manufacturer's court where they're making the items and they're shipping it and all of that, you have no say over how long that takes. So when you do have um, a say over how your time is spent or how quickly you move through Amazon, you're gonna wanna make sure you're doing it at a pretty fast but reasonable pace, especially if you're working full time. I know it's so difficult sometimes when you work for eight hours a day and then either before work, early in the morning, you have to study Amazon or after work when you're tired. I've been there and I know how it is. And what I wanna share with you is that you can do it. It's going to be a lot of extra work now, but it's all for the better of your future. You're investing in yourself, you're investing in your future, you are investing in your new career to hopefully um, be able to leave your full-time job and make a full-time career out of Amazon or at least have a good steady income from it on the side while you work on something else, which is what I'm trying to do here with my YouTube and Amazon. I'm still in the early stages of everything, so I'm not there yet, but hopefully um, I will be soon. And speaking on that note, because YouTube is a huge passion of mine. Even before I started Amazon, I've been doing YouTube for years. You have no idea how much it helps me out to just give this video a big thumbs up. Hit subscribe and also connect with me. Leave me a comment, whatever it is. It really, really helps me. But I just wanted to throw that in there. Yeah, so creating a timeline is a really important part of staying motivated on your Amazon journey and also being able to see your progress is super helpful. I'm reading a book right now called Atomic Habits and they talk about how we are wired for short-term gratification and it's easier for us to do what benefits us in the moment rather than delay our gratification for the future. So if you create a timeline and you actually see your progress and you are marking things off your list of what you need to do, it's going to motivate you subconsciously more to keep going on your journey. So that is my third tip. Let's move into number two. My second tip and my second and first tip are definitely my most important tips and things that I swear by personally. Second tip is to find your tribe. This is so important when you're an entrepreneur because as an Amazon FBA seller, you are an entrepreneur because you are creating your own business, your own brand to sell on Amazon and you can move that brand elsewhere, but it's a lonely road. It is extremely lonely. <laughs> you can be watching these YouTube videos, learning, doing all these things, but you usually won't have like a team working with you unless you're have a friend or a business partner that's going in on this with you, but I suggest to find other people who are in a similar position to motivate each other, to kind of hold each other accountable, to see where each other is at. If you have questions, you can go to each other directly um, to ask each other because it can be quite daunting to do all of this on your own, but if you have other people around you who are kind of in a similar place, it makes it all more realistic. Sometimes you can kind of get lost in it and be like, oh, I'll never be able to sell as much as this person I'm watching on YouTube, or I'm never going to be as successful as that person, but it's not about being the most successful person, or it's not about being the best seller or getting the highest amount of profit. It's 
about starting and it's about keeping the momentum. Just keep going every single day, do a little bit, do what you can because you know Amazon is growing. As we went into quarantine, we obviously saw a huge surge in e-commerce and buying online, shopping online, and that's not going away. It's only getting bigger. More people are opting into Amazon. It's expanding all over the world. Amazon is a giant and it can be kind of scary at times to think about how big Amazon is, but that just means that there is more, there are more fish in the sea. <laughs> there are more opportunities to be successful in Amazon. And we don't want to go in there and be the best. I mean, maybe we do, but maybe the second best or the third best or the 10th in your product and you will still be making a substantial amount of money from it. So find your tribe, work with them, um, support each other emotionally, mentally, because that's another thing is this is very emotional and mental and it takes a lot of strength in those areas. So it's always nice to be able to vent to somebody to talk about the obstacles you face, maybe help them through theirs. And it's also proven that when you help someone else figure out a problem, you help yourself learn more about it. So find your tribe, find these people either through Facebook groups, there's a lot of Amazon FBA Facebook groups, comment sections on Amazon um, YouTube videos, just like leaving a comment saying you're on this part of your journey, you have this question, whatever, maybe someone will respond, connecting with people on social media platforms. I know Reddit is also another place you can connect with people. I personally am not really too familiar with Reddit, but that's a good option as well. So let me know where you guys find your tribe down below because that's pretty interesting to me. I have a good amount of people who are contacting me about Amazon FBA and some friends who also sell, which are really helpful um, because I have people to go to when I hit a roadblock and I do pretty often or I hit a personal roadblock where I feel like I'm not going to be successful or I feel kind of down on myself and they always push me through. So that's my second tip. And my first tip is the most important tip and something that I swear by, not only for Amazon, but for all areas of my life. I talk about this a lot, but get a mentor. Find someone who's successful. I know this might not be the easiest thing to do because sometimes people who are very successful in Amazon are really busy or they have a lot of people reaching out to them, but Talk to people, put yourself out there, you know? People always come to me and they ask me, how did you go your network? Or how do you meet so many people? And it's because I put myself out there. I'm <laughs> all over social media. I'm constantly talking about my life, sharing my challenges, obstacles, whatever it is. I'm very transparent on social media. And people respond, people message me, they comment on things, they ask me to hang out. And I say, yes, I'm open-minded. I love meeting new people. I love hearing about other people's journeys, stories. Um, I'm very empathetic. That's just kind of the person that I am. I am pretty outgoing. You can't rely on someone who has a big network either to be your crutch. You need to kind of find your own voice and find that mentor that suits you, who is able to support you in the way that you need. Because yeah, some people who are earlier on in their journey or still trying to figure out the ropes might be a little busy or maybe not so confident in themselves to be a mentor. But find someone who is successful or is finding success, they're having some wins already in their journey, and just ask them the questions that you have because the thing is, is if you have a question, you can go about it so many ways. You can, you will find the answer. You can sift through YouTube, you can take a course, you can ask people in comment sections, but of course the fastest way to get an answer to your question is to find someone who has already uh, tackled it and been successful in it. So. Having that mentor is so helpful and for me personally with my Amazon journey this time around, my mentors are the reason that I have been able to keep going because there were multiple times where I almost gave up, I almost just completely stopped working on it, I was so exhausted, I'm not even going to lie, I was going through some depression while I was at my job, um, I was feeling completely drained and unmotivated and maybe like a week would pass by or three or four days would pass by and then I would get a text from my mentor saying, hey, how's your Amazon journey going? Hey, how are things going? Literally, that was it to take to get me to get on my laptop and 
get a little bit of work done and get going again. So sometimes it just takes literally the smallest nudge to get you going, but that means a lot to somebody who is new to this Amazon journey or feeling a bit overwhelmed. So seriously, find a mentor, find your tribe, ask these questions, create a timeline for yourself, just hold yourself accountable and find others to hold you accountable and you will get there. I know it can be all over the place, but you're gonna be fine. And if you have any questions for me, please leave them down below in the comment section. I will try and get to them and answer them to the best of my ability. And I will also be making another video right now about Amazon product research. My last video was about keyword research. This one is going to be about products. So really early on in your journey, if you're trying to find your product, this is a good way to uh, go about it using Helium 10. That's another tip that I'm not including in my motivation, but I think it's really important to either use Helium 10 or Jungle Scout to have a software to figure out what products you're gonna be selling or research on your competitors, keywords, all this stuff, because everyone else is using them. Um, everyone else is using the software, so if you're not using it, you're gonna be at a very big disadvantage. So make sure you check out my next video. It should be up in a day or two or three, so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss it when it comes out. And of course, connect with me on Instagram. I will alert everyone when I upload it over there as well. But yeah, I hope you found this video very helpful on how to stay motivated on your Amazon journey, coming from someone who seriously gave up multiple times on their Amazon journey, but I'm finally figuring it out and persevering through it. But I hope this gave you some inspiration and I will leave the links to my other Amazon videos down below and also the video about how I quit my job and why. Thank you so much for watching until the end. Seriously, it means so much to me and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.